Hello everybody, I'm Mohammed from Team RoboFlow, and here I have an Oak D Light Spice. Hey everybody, I'm Jacob from RoboFlow, and here I have a Raspberry Pi. And Mohammed and I are going to show you how you can take your custom trained RoboFlow model and put it on the Luxonis Oak and the Raspberry Pi. And we're going to show you how to do this in as little as eight lines of code. So huge shout out to the Luxonis team for getting this integration across the line. We've gotten to test it tested a few times here and can do everything from running this on live feeds, recorded video, and also doing this to track objects. So Jacob, why are you so excited about this integration? Yeah, I'm really excited to release this integration to the world. So we did a lot of work with the Luxonis team to make it so the Rofo models now load natively into the Depth AI pipeline. So previously, you might have been familiar with the RoboFlow Oak package, where we actually wrote a wrapper around the Depth AI pipeline for you to take your RoboFlow models and load them onto the Oak and run inference. But the disadvantages of that was that if you wanted to do things where you were customizing your Depth AI pipeline, you couldn't do that because you had to be using our PIP package. And now you can do things natively with the way that Luxonis uh, naturally supports the way inference and images throw through, flow through their camera. So today, Mohammed and I are going to show you a demo where we actually take a RoboFo model that has been trained to identify you know, different things uh, for construction workers like safety vests and hard hats and things like that and show you how you can take a RoboFo model that's been trained on custom objects, so any object that you want to detect in the world, and, and deploy it onto your Oak device. So uh, what do you say, Mohamed? Should we just dive right into trying it out? Yeah, let's get it all fired up. Awesome. Yeah. So first here, I'm showing you the example code that's included directly within the GitHub repository for the Depth SDK. So this is an example American Sign Language Letters data set from RoboFlow Universe. Here's where you can find that data set on Universe. And just remember, you're going to need to plug in your own API key. Um, next, here's an example where I've just changed this code to just a people detection project, also from RoboFlow Universe. And as you've noticed, all I had to do was change within the model config for model in the API key. And there we are, a brand new model, ready to go. So first here, I'm showing you how to run the people detection model from RoboFlow Universe. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the script running. And you'll notice that I have my private API key blocked out. You wanna make sure you don't share that. If you do accidentally share it, you can revoke your private API key and always set a new one. So this is the example video downloaded from the Luxana server. We're running the people detection model from RoboFlow Universe on this. See that we're tracking quite nicely. It's running a little slower as this is a larger video file. And now we're going to switch to another file. In this one, I rigged up the beverage containers model from RoboFlow Universe and all I had to do was change the model information. So you see the beverage containers URL that's in there or the model ID attached with the version number. And I'm gonna go ahead and run that script. And here we are. So you see that this is running at closer to eight to 10 frames per second. And this is the RoboFlow fast model in this case that this model was trained on. Okay, and now we're going to use that same beverage containers model, but this time we're going to run it on a local video file. So I've recorded a video of myself holding up a can in front of my laptop here. And you'll see that this runs seamlessly. And now I'm going to show you how to run that beverage container model on a live video feed. This time, we're actually going to save the results to an output video. And then we're going to quickly view that output video. So the Oak by default is processing at 30 frames per second. And 30 frames per second in terms of the output video speed. So even though I'm running this a little longer, you'll see that my output video is going to come out to be at just about two seconds or so as it's running these frames at 30 frames per second rather than the slower four to six frames per second we were seeing. Then Jacob's gonna be showing you here how we're actually doing the construction site safety one. So we'll show you how uh, we're running it live on Muhammad and myself. And then from there, last step, 
Also wanted to show you one of the other examples that Luxonis has in here. So they do have some object tracking functionality in here and also customize the layout of the bounding boxes and everything. So pretty cool tutorial for you here and gonna include those code examples for you too. So here we're viewing the construction site safety model. So Jacob has set this one up and what we're doing here is viewing it on live video. So the Oak camera here is being used and attached to the Raspberry Pi and we're viewing no safety vest, no mask, no hard hat, and person as classes. And you notice that this is tracking seamlessly across different people. Today we've shown you how to use a Luxonis Oak device, and in this example, a Raspberry Pi as the host device, to actually use the new Luxonis Step SDK updates to take a RubbleFlow model and run it on your Oak. So really excited for this again, and wanted to say that whether you go to RubbleFlow.com, if you've already signed up, for an account or you need to go to universe.rollflow.com and grab a pre-trained data set if you'd like to get started. You're able to do that today. So happy training and happy imprints. Thanks for watching.